Hey, what's up, you guys? So, as you guys already know, uh, I'm on a another round of spraying fungicide on the peanuts, and I'm here at the ponds now. You know, I was checking out Dan's mowing along the ponds here. As I said the other day when we was uh, cleaning out the spillway, I said he did an alright job out here. He did an alright job. I, I probably wouldn't have gotten much closer to the water with that 7610 myself since it's not four wheel drive. I was bush hogging with the, uh, the 7810 the other day and I was able to clean up a spot that's always wet. I'll probably make it to that field and I'll show you. Uh, actually, it's the seashell field, yeah. There was a spot there by the road that always is wet. Had cattails growing and everything and I, I cleaned it up because um, it was dry out there. But anyway, like I said, I was checking out Dan's mowing here. He did an all right job. <laughs> the wind is actually trying to pick up, so I, I hope I'll be able to um, continue spraying. Let's see, yeah, this is where I stopped at. Looking over to our right, it's a little bit cloudy over there. It was actually a little cloudier than this, but it sort of broke up. I thought it was gonna rain on me at one point. Speaking of rain, you guys know the last time uh, you saw me spraying, it started raining on me. And uh, I mean, it rained enough to where the water was running down the roads. And actually yesterday, there were some places where I made some ruts, you guys. <laughs> I had made ruts and I don't know how long because it's been so dry. Got the tractor a little muddy. <laughs> I can imagine the places where I was rutting yesterday are probably dry today though because it's been pretty steamy out and the sun's been baking the ground. <laughs> it's been baking me too. Humidity high and everything, you guys. Uh, this is the field. And of course, I'm pretty sure you know by now that it was real powdery dry. I'm just looking at the peanut beds or the peanut rolls, whichever you like to call it. And it does not have much of a bed. It's almost like it's flat out here, like flat across, like how we plant the corn and the, the soybeans. It's like the devil, uh, oh, I said the devil. <laughs> the dirt is level. I guess the D in dirt and level put together makes devil but anyway the dirt is sort of almost level all the way across because the beds I guess sort of fell down being that they were so powdery but uh maybe they'll dig okay whenever it comes time to dig them uh, we're gonna head across this first crossing here I do declare I do declare there's a little more water out there you guys it's still low, but it's a little higher than it was last time we came uh, back here to spray. Uh-oh, you guys. Looks like I got a tree over here. I'm going to have to raise the boom up and go over it. That's a good thing about this sprayer. <laughs> yeah, that was victory. Let it back down. <laughs> All right, you guys. So... This spray pass right here is gonna lead us right to the crossing where the spillway is that me and Dan cleaned out. And of course you guys know, I gotta check it out and see if the beavers have plugged it back up. I doubt that they have, being that it's still fairly dry. And there's probably no water running to it to aid them in their destruction. <laughs> yeah, there's a little more water out there too. All right, watch for snakes. I'm gonna tell you what, if the beavers put something in there and there's no water running in it, those jokers are something bad. I'm telling you. It is a little water down in it though. Yeah, y'all see there's a little water down in it. I guess maybe that came from the rain or it just might be seeping from the ground. But anyway, it's still clear there. How long it's gonna remain clear, 
we do not know and for those of you who are wondering who have more knowledge about spillways yes it was normally taller than that but i guess when danny or dan was using the backhoe to try and clear it i think some of it uh broke off but um anyway that's how that's looking y'all know i had to check in while i'm here save a trip coming back down here let me tell you if you guys only knew the struggle of what i go through to get a video uploaded yes that's my phone on top of the truck with the battery pack charging this is where it has decent service where it won't be losing service in and out and cause the video to fail uploading so i'm about to <laughs> check and see what percentage the last beaver dam video i guess this is a beaver dam video too well not really but yeah when we went out to the beaver dam the video that you seen earlier today it's uploaded <laughs> i'm about to go check on it so it's at 89 percent with 40 minutes left it's getting there it's getting there haha <laughs> <laughs> The Canadian geese are out there swimming around, you guys. Now we're gonna, y'all gonna get out in the water? What kind of sound they make? <laughs> so now we are spraying in Beaver Dam Field here at the ponds of course and uh when we get to our entrances you guys already know the deal so i'll check back in when we get to the entrance and we have arrived let's do a quick check in you guys see what it looks like i'm banging you up against the window i know i know my bad my bad All right, snakes, if you're in here, get to moving, get to moving. Uh, okay. You know what? I don't even think that puddle of water was there last time we was here. <laughs> but anyway, yep, water's still outrageously low out here. No activity here at this beaver dam. So when we get to the other one up there, we'll see what it looks like. Even the water that way is drying up. Alrighty, you guys, I'll check back in. All right, let me get backed up here. I had to bring that spray pass all the way out and then we're gonna go over here check out the dam over here ah. pretty sure there's no activity over here as well oh god oh. <laughs> oh, spider <laughs> I walked right in the web oh man that felt nasty on my face I think the spider got on my face Lord have mercy! Ah! <laughs> man! Man, you guys! Man, oh man! <laughs> Lord have mercy, see? Camera be rolling, y'all be catching me flipping out out here. Man! Whew. Oh, man, <laughs> that was yucky feeling. Froggy, well, you can tell that the water came through here a little bit. But anyway, that's how it's looking, man. Oh, I'm still wiping my face off. 
<laughs> I bet y'all was like, oh, what happened? Because <laughs> that was very abrupt. And I guess y'all know, y'all know by now, if I was a cusser, I'd have been, been cussing. <laughs> Man. Oh, I feel like something's still crawling on me. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to it. Lord, that's great. Man, you guys, I'm still wiping my head and my face off. I declare, I hope that joker didn't bite me on the face because I felt a little pinch or something, man, when I first walked into it. It was like, wait a minute, what's going on? <laughs> I know I probably scared y'all half to death. <laughs> man, oh man, oh man. Well, anyway, I, uh, I gotta wait on Danny to bring the truck so I can fill up one more time. Then I'll be done at this farm. I should run over there after them Canadian geese. Make them take flight. I ain't, I ain't gonna mess with them. I ain't gonna mess with them. I am while I got a few minutes you know, look in the water here. Now before, when you look over here, you can see the bottom and you can see that fish that was always chilling. He'd always be chilling right up in there. But I can't even see the bottom of it now, so there's definitely more water in there. So upon getting back in the tractor, I'm just now realizing, you guys, that the video uploaded, and I know it's blurry, but look, it took 11 hours, 11 hours to upload. <laughs> that is crazy. I started it on my slow Wi-Fi last night about uh, 12.30, and then the rest of it was uploaded with uh, service. So it took 11 hours, you guys. I'm telling you, the struggle is real. The struggle is real. Look at all those white mountains over there, you guys. <laughs> you know, uh, on a real tip, I actually got convicted by the Holy Spirit about calling it cocaine, even though I was joking. You know, I was joking calling it cocaine. We're just gonna call it flour, all right? We're gonna call those great mounds of flour. Anybody need some flour to bake some cakes? Make some pies, make some gravy. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that, the lamb pasta. And I bet you when I get close to it, I'm still waiting on Danny. When I get close to it, it's probably gonna distort the, the visuals of the quality. But anyway, um, this lamb pasta is put on the peanuts as a form of nutrition for them. Almost like taking vitamins. Helps with the soil as well, so um, you gotta put the lamb plaster on the peanuts about the time that they're getting the flowers on them, the little yellow flowers that we saw the other day. And uh, I was chatting with Dan earlier, and it's Danny. Danny, he's the one who spreads it, but he said he believes that one pile of it will cover about 25 acres. So, uh, yeah, that's. That's the lamb plaster. That's the flower. <laughs> and here's the flower. I just said we're going to call it flower. But here's the flower. <laughs> Two different flowers. But anyway, yeah, those little yellow flowers there. Whenever they start putting them flowers on, you know it's about time to put that lamb plaster out there. And the sun is really beaming now. But, uh, wow. I remember when I first got the GoPro, um, when brother Randy got me the GoPro and I was in Connecticut and there was these huge mounds of snow. It was in December, I think it was, or may, might have been January. And there was huge mounds of snow. And I guess I didn't have the GoPro um, sentence right. And every time I looked at a mound of that snow, it was so bright white. It's like you couldn't see nothing on the screen. <laughs> and it's not doing it now. So I guess I got the sentence right, but anyway. Wait on Danny and uh, we'll be getting back to it soon, you guys. All right, you guys, so I just got through with uh, Beaver Dam Field at the Ponds. And I was just thinking about the fact that uh, it was Brother Randy who got me the GoPro back in December, last December. And it was also, it was also <laughs> Brother Randy who got me that gift when we, was at, when we was at our Beaver Dam Creek, got me the, the leg chaps. 
Yes, I know, Brother Randy. I know you said in the message that you don't need any, uh, what's the word? I forgot. Any notarization of your purchase of them for me. But, man, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful for every gift. And you guys know that already. Um, so, yeah, I put your name out there. <laughs> um, truth be told, hey, I need them. But it's been so hot recently, you guys. I don't know if I'm going to put that extra layer of, <laughs> extra layer of heat on my legs. So I'm probably going to be reluctant to wear them a lot of the time. But I am going to wear them. I guess I'll wear them as led of the Holy Spirit. How about that? <laughs> I haven't even tried them on yet. So um, I got to learn how to put them on. And that's another thing I can thank you guys for. Uh, Y'all was coming left to right with the, uh, with the knowledge of what they were. So you, you guys are very knowledgeable. You guys are very knowledgeable. I appreciate all of your, your, uh, your knowledge and wisdom sharing with me. Like I said, I'm, I'm not beyond learning. I am not beyond learning, you guys. So once again, Brother Randy, I thank you. You know what the funny thing is? I have not even had a chance to respond to the, the message that he sent me yet. I'm telling you guys, I just be so busy, man. It's, it's, it's a difference between being able to type and talking. I can talk. <laughs> I can do a bunch of talking. But uh, like I said, whenever it comes to responding to messages and uh, and comments, it, I like to really, you know, respond with my whole entire heart and give full sentences and make sure that I'm responding to every aspect, which is why also I have not had the chance yet to respond to the comments in the last Beaver Dam video where I was telling you guys that there were some comment dislikers. Yeah, so I'm gonna get to it, you guys. I'm gonna get to it. Yep, you guys, this is the field I was talking about where I did the mowing at. Hey, looks like Pastor's out there mowing by his mailbox. I guess he's trying to get it equaled up with where I bush hogged around the side of the road. <laughs> I'm late starting the camera to record him, but you can tell a difference out here in this uh, beach sand where they dumped out here in this field how the peanuts are more yellow looking. They look like they're lacking nutrition, but they are growing. If you look there to the right, they're a whole lot more greener and they've been treated equally. <laughs> There's no inequality in how we've treated them. <laughs> but for some reason, uh, of course we know it's beach sand, it's not the normal dirt. Uh, they're not growing as good as the regular dirt. Yeah, so I'm coming up on that spot there. I was telling you guys that's always normally wet. I was able to get it mowed and it looks, I, I've never, ever, ever mowed that place before. Never, ever, you guys. So, to see it mowed right now, it's a rare, it's a rare thing. It's a special moment in time. <laughs> I hope that it don't stay so dry that it, well, you know what, I ain't gonna say that. I just pray that the Lord will send the correct amount of rain that he desires to help the crops do what they need to do, because Maybe if we get a normal amount of rain, it might be too much, and then the peanuts will flood out. So, yeah, do your thing, Lord. Do your thing. Because <laughs> right now, uh, you know, the crops are doing fairly well with how the rain is coming sporadically. So, I'm, I'm not going to complain, you guys. And I'm back in the same patch that we just came out of. Because, like I said, I only had one pass over there to the right left. And I'm gonna come back down here and uh, pick up in the rows that's on the other side of that bottom. And I'll be done with this field. Let me slow down, let me slow down. Ay, 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 ay. You guys, 
Danny used his granddaughter to set me up this morning for failure. Do you see the name on this box? That is instant failure for me. <laughs> so she brought me this box of donuts and said, this is for you. I said, thank you. Now this was, this was about 7.10 this morning. And you guys, 7.10 this morning. There's donuts missing. I said, I'm just going to eat one. Just one. Just one. And then it was just two. Just two. And I wound up eating three donuts, you guys. Early this morning. Oh, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me, Lord. Oh. But, Lord, I got to have another one. <laughs> Would you guys like a bite? Man, y'all took a big bite out of my donut. I can't share with y'all no more. You know what? Get out of my box. <laughs> now I truly understand why I was raised being taught that you eat your food before you eat your sweets. Because I have not even ate my chicken salad today, you guys. I don't have four donuts. <laughs> but I am about to take lunch now, so maybe I got a little room for some food. <laughs> well, you guys, guess I'm going to get ready and wrap this video on up. You know, I was thinking back earlier on how I told you guys about um, how the Holy Spirit convicted me about calling the lamb plaster pals cocaine jokingly and the reason he convicted me with that was because I understand that there's actually people who have cocaine and drug addictions and so you know me being the child of God that I am there are things you know that I try to be careful with being that, you know, I, I minister to quite a few people. And if that may be you who is struggling with some type of drug addiction, God, I thank you. Like I was saying yesterday, I do take prayer requests and I want you to know that I'm praying for you because any type of addiction weighs heavily not just on our spirit but even on our natural bodies <laughs> take for instance <laughs> My addiction to Krispy Kreme donuts. <laughs> that can weigh on me physically, literally. <laughs> it can put little weight on me. <laughs> but yeah, on a, like I said, on a more serious note, you know, with drugs, um, that, you know, that's really a problem. More so than with Krispy Kreme donuts. But, Please, don't hesitate to hit me up. I know I was saying that I, I'm busy, but I never am too busy to respond to a prayer request. Glory to God. I'm, I'm just thinking about uh, the prayer request that I had yesterday and uh, you know just how the Spirit of God was moving. And um, yeah, the Bible says that the effectual and the fervent prayers of the righteous avail of much. Never be fearful to reach out to somebody in prayer. And of course you always want to reach out to somebody that you know is not going to pray on you in a bad way. I'm talking about P-R-E-Y, not P-R-A-Y, but a person that you know is really, sincerely, genuinely gonna pray for you and and care about you 
and not talk about you. Alright, so yeah. I had to give that explanation of why I'm not going to jokingly call it cocaine anymore. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed watching on today. I hope you enjoyed my piece of Krispy Kreme donut. <laughs> hey, you guys stay blessed. You guys keep encouraged. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>